On the market there are quite a few active antenna circuits, active antenna units that you can buy. Um, but this is a circuit that always works and here also. You don't have to spend a lot of money to make a good active shortwave antenna. And here I want to show the circuit, the schematic. At first it's very important to tell that here we have a field effect transistor and an antenna that's quite small, 30 centimeters up to 1 meter, directly connected to the gate. So that means that um, it has a kind of own capacitance and inductance etc etc. But with uh, these uh, values, 30 centimeters up to 1 meter, it's a good ac active antenna. And you don't need a capacitor here to get more selectivity. Uh, the 2K2 uh, potentiometer or 1K sets the amplification and you can take out the signal here to your radio. This is by the way the, are the pin connections from the field effect transistor. It's an NFET. The resistor here uh, could be between 1K and 10K and I have experimented a lot and 10K always works. This capacitor is the outcoupling capacitor. Um, it is a source follower, this circuit. Could be between, uh, say, 200 picofarad and 0 0.1 microfarad. That depends. You have to do some experiments. So connect this to your radio, here. This to the minus from that radio. And here a separate uh, power supply. And then you can here set the amplification. This circuit is sold in the shops, sometimes as an expensive circuit or a whip antenna or whatever. But in my book Retro Radio from approximately five years ago, I have already talked about this circuit. Retro Radio was published in the Netherlands and it has a Dutch text, text. but anyway. Uh, this is a broadband uh, antenna, but of course you can go to an antenna that is uh, centered around a certain frequency band. In fact, this is exactly the same circuit as here. No longer broadband, because we have here a tank circuit that gives um, the, amplif the, the amplifying field effect transistor, a frequency dependent input. So here we have zero uh, capacitor from zero up to 500 picofarad. Here we have for instance turns isolated copper wire and this whole combination sets the frequency band. There are much more videos on my YouTube channel uh, about this issue. When you want to use this circuit as um, um, uh, an active antenna that is sensitive for a certain frequency band, you must here use a 10 picofarad capacitor in cases where you want to connect here an antenna from say 10 meters up to say 20 meters or so. When you don't use this capacitor here, the whole um, receiving from all kinds of stations will be very messy. So this capacitor sets in fact with this uh, tank circuit the frequency band where you receive your radio stations. Here it's again exactly the same circuit as here. Completely the same. But now you can tune in to a certain frequency band between say 1 megahertz and uh, 12 megahertz or so. That depends on the amount of turns 
on the coil here and of course on the value from that um, capacitor, variable capacitor. And when you want to make it much more um, amplifying, uh, you can here connect here uh, a second transistor stage with a bipolar transistor with a small input cap and a small output cap and then you will have an extreme amplification from the frequency band that you want to listen to. In fact a very simple circuit, um, usable, usable uh, to receive radio stations between say uh, 2 MHz and approximately 14 MHz or so, that depends. And um, regarding the active radio, sorry, the active radio antenna, perhaps this will go to say 18 MHz or so. So it's a very useful circuit. And I've tested it and it works. So when you want to uh, make this circuit, uh, this is a good idea to do an experiment and um, receive more stations because um, the antenna is active so you can uh, amplify certain radio stations on shortwave, the radio stations that you want to receive.